Well, hello. This recipe kills two turtle doves with one roasted chestnut. Today is a really big day in Ben's life. Rather than abstaining, we're going to be staining some glass windows in some cookies. Awesome Christmas decorations. You're an idiot. For our festive treats, you're going to need cold cubed butter, plain flour, ground ginger, a lemon, some poppy seeds, some vanilla caster sugar, and about a tablespoon of milk, plus boiled sweets. Oh, and some Christmas cheer. If I lift, um, can you catch? Yeah. Careful, it's real. Oh. The first thing we need to do yep. is put some flour into a food processor, add in our cold butter, and Thank blitz you. until you've got breadcrumbs. <laughs> Thank you. Now what I love about this recipe is it's nearly done. All we're going to add is the zest of a lemon, some ground ginger, poppy seeds, sugar and a tablespoon of milk. Give it one more blitz up, transfer it to a bowl and then all you're left to do is knead it until you have a firm dough. I hate it. Have faith and stick with this one. It will look like it's too dry but it'll be absolutely fine. Should look something like that, and now it needs 15, 20 minutes in the fridge just to relax before we roll it out. Oh, ball, balls. The stained glass window bits are easy. We'll need that later on. All we need to take is boiled sweets, fruity ones, keep the colours all the same, but basically chop them up into a smaller dust. That's enough decorating. Perfect. I mean, it looks beautifully festive. Thanks, mate. A little dusting of flour on here, and we're going to roll out our cookie dough. I say we. You're going to roll out our cookie dough. Awesome. Next up, we cut out some Christmas shapes. The <laughs> wreath, the star, and the pentagon. <laughs> the stable that Jesus was born within. I just realised, Ben, this, uh, this star that they, uh, you know those wise men followed? Yes. Was actually a snowflake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've gone for three different cookie shapes, each with a hole in the middle, three of each, and we're going to fill them with three different colours because we're the three wise men. There's four of us. What about Barry? As I said, the three wise men. <laughs> Give the cookies a little poke at the top. You'll need that hole later on to hang them up. At this point, they go into an oven at 180 degrees Celsius and they need 10 minutes, at which point let them cool on the tray because the sugar will be super hot and it needs to set up. Once the cookies are cooled, dissolve a little bit of icing sugar in water, place it into a piping bag so you've got a really, really neat piping bag that can get perfect little squiggles. And then decorate your cookies. Thread a ribbon through it and there they are, stained glass cookies. I think they're going to look really nice on my tree. That's questionable. If you were stronger than a little mouse... I'm going to break it in half. There we go. Oh. Have a taste. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry, cri Merry Christmas. Oh, that's amazing. I like the ginger. Mmm. Warming. Now these make pretty awesome decorations for the tree, but they also make brilliant Christmas gifts. Ooh! And if you want to find more food-based Christmas gifts, then why don't you have a look at our Food Gifts playlist. It's linked down below. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Almost got it. Very nice. Love Christmas gifts. Jamie is a holiday idiot. Ben, tell me what festive recipes we've been doing on the internet this week. Uh, well, aside from our stained glass cookie, it's very little festive, but we have wrapped up our burger quest. Yes, some of you will love that. Those of you who enjoyed the burgers, then uh, fantastic. Those of you who didn't, don't worry, it's over now. But anyway, this week we did a burger chat with Nikki Philippi. Jamie and Barry went to visit her and they played a game. Yeah, basically matching different burger components, the cheese, the bun, all the bits and pieces inside of it, with YouTubers. And finally, week eight, the one you've all been waiting for, the vegetarian burger for Nick. The one you've all been waiting for. Well, everyone's been saying we should all do All the vegetarians, but all the vegetarians. <laughs> um, a sweet potato falafel kind of burger. Um, so that's it. Beat my burger. We've done eight of them. Uh, be great to know which is your favourite, and if you need reminding, there is a link with all Check of those them videos. Out. There's down some below. sexy videos right there. And then we summed up the whole thing on Friday. We did some burger events. Jamie and Barry are flying back from hosting those around the world. As we speak. Around the world. It was LA and New York. Just to clarify, I didn't go. But they're coming back now, and uh, we did it. 
we did the final burger events, we took the votes in, and we crowned the internet's ultimate burger. And we're not gonna tell you who that was because we're gonna make you go and watch the video because uh, we need the views. Ta. But thanks everyone for getting involved. Thanks for your uploads, your comments, your photos, everything. And it doesn't stop here. And um, sure just because the Burger Quest has come to an end, it doesn't mean that you guys can't continue cooking awesome burger recipes at home and sharing them on sorted food. Absolutely. And if you're sick of burgers, you don't don't cook them. We've got some more festive stuff coming up in the coming weeks. Merry Plus, Christmas. A really cool thing in the new year. So comment of the week. Comment of the week. You've got I've this got one. one. This week's comment of the week comes from a lovely lady named Rachel, and uh, she made this comment on last week's fridge cam. Barry's hair looks like an ice gem. Who doesn't love ice gems? I'm super! And you know who loves ice gems? <laughs> Tyro Ebrill. Yeah, that's where that all started. Well, that fridge cam had everything! It absolutely did. It had Jamie haphazardly putting up our Christmas decorations. It had Tyro and Ebrill. It did not. It had sugar confectionery hairstyles. <laughs> and it had a lot of vegetarian input from Nikki. Cheerio, have lovely weeks, farewell, goodbye. Talk to me, ben. Hello and welcome to another episode of Jamie Noise the Hell Out Me. <laughs> now the interesting thing is we've been doing Sorted for quite a while now and we haven't managed to balls it up yet. Uh, but I am starting to think that maybe I needle to branch out a bit. <laughs> Be careful of that Christmas tree because it is plugged in down there as is the light, and that light will fall over <laughs> if pulled. No, so I've left Jamie to decorate, and I'm doing the colour separation. Oh, sh Sorry. Okay, butt pipes, when are you ready? Oh, the berries. <laughs> I don't know why you would do that. To demonstrate. And then do it all over your cookie. S for Spafford. Sorted. S for sexy. Thread a ribbon through the cookie and you're good to go and you can hang it on the delicious tree. On a scale of one to going really well, where would you rate this? Place it into a piping bag so you've got a really, really neat piping bag that you can get perfect little squiggles. It's not the cookie. Lick it off, John. I'm not going to lick it off. I brought these gifts for you, they're up in my bum.